So here's a real quick little video on how we prepare our bees, or at least the hives that we're going to be wintering up here. This is, this is all we do for them. Because I know there's a lot of people who ask questions about, you know, quilt boards and all sorts of stuff. And not necessary. Not If you want to do it, go for it. Experiment. Have fun. Once again, uh, something I didn't clarify in the last video, which uh, a few people asked to clarify, which is very important. So I'm in between Portland and Seattle in the Pacific Northwest. So... I'm talking about wintering bees specifically to our area because uh, mostly these videos are meant for our Nuke customers, but obviously I'm, I'm thrilled when I get these little messages from people around different parts of the country and the world uh, watching the videos. I, I, I would be equally as fascinated by uh, hearing how you prepare your bees in your area. But here's... <laughs> And I'm going to replace the lid this year. But, okay, here's our nukes that we've been following. You know, right here. These are our two colonies. And if you if you look at this lid, <laughs> it's chewed up. And there's even some bees peering out, wondering whether they need to sting my hand or not. This was the lid I used for wintering them last year. And they went through the winter just fine. As you can see, there's a lot of ventilation. There's obviously top ventilation. There's an entrance here. Um, they wintered fine, even though this lid's really crappy and needs to be retired. Uh, so I'm going to throw, throw a new lid on it for this year. But once again, the most important, two important things for wintering bees. And this this is universal. I don't care where a person's at. Mites, making sure that you're treating early enough in the year that you're getting the mite population knocked down so that the bees that are going to make up your winter cluster, this is, like I said, this is a, a dynamic that doesn't matter where you are in the world. Same thing applies unless you're in, where is it, Hawaii? What places don't, I think New Zealand still doesn't have a row of mites. Anyway, but... You want to get the mites knocked down early enough in the year uh, or early enough leading up to fall winter so that the bees that are going to be making up the winter cluster have minimal exposure to mites and the viruses they carry. What that translates to in our area is doing a mite treatment at the end of July, beginning of August. And then making sure they're proper weight. And for these doubles, we're looking around 120 pounds. And that's that's it. That That is the two most important things. Obviously, you want to make sure that you have a lid that's not going to drip water or moisture on the bees. And so, you know, we've, we've got these uh, what are referred to as migratory lids because, once again, most of these hives are going down to California, but we'll be keeping these two nukes. Uh, we'll be wintering them up here, so you have a reference point. But yeah, don't worry about all the other stuff. Um, as I reiterated in the last video, the biggest mistake that people make, and if you've done this, don't beat yourself up over it. Just, just look at, you know, getting this down pat for next year. The biggest mistake people make is it turns cold around this time of the year, or maybe a little earlier, and they panic and think, oh, crap, I've got bees. Oh, I, I need to be feeding them. I need blah, blah, blah. And uh, feeding your bees this time of the year causes more issues than help. So the first thing to do, go out and check the weight of your bees. If you're around 100, 120 pounds, and the way I tell that is that it literally feels like a rock. And what I'll do oftentimes is just walk up to a hive and just do this and just feel it. Feel how solid, how solid it just just tipping, tipping the hive. Um, if it feels like a rock, if it's solid, you're good. Don't worry about feeding them because one of the detriments of feeding syrup this time of the year, even a two to one syrup, three to one syrup, whatever, is that the bees are not going to have the type of temperatures during the day to evaporate all the extra moisture 
out of that syrup. So you're going to have issues with it fermenting. You're going to have issues with mold and mildew because of the excess moisture that that syrup has. So don't go into panic mode and start throwing syrup and stuff and mite treatments at your bees. Uh, just, just realize that if you haven't prepared by now, it's probably too late. Your bees might make it. Chances are good. They probably won't if you haven't done mite treatments. But uh, this is it. This is all we do for winter preparation. The other thing that I have done in the past is, uh, especially if you have an inner cover, you can have your inner cover and uh, put a piece of duct tape over the center hole and then just take like foam insulation, uh, I don't know, like uh, what we use, inch, inch and a half foam insulation, and we put that on top and then your lid uh, which would most likely be a telescoping lid. It, you know, in other words, the sides come down on all four corners on top of that foam. And that helps. That helps give them some insulation on the top. But like I said, this will be the second year that we've wintered these just as they are. And short of just me changing out this lid back here because it's just, just bad, that's all we're going to do. And they'll be fine. Yeah. But yeah, they wintered with this lid last year and did just fine. Because once again, the most important thing of wintering success is getting the mites knocked down early enough and also making sure that they uh, are fed up early enough in the year so they don't have a bunch of excess moisture going into the colder weather. So anyways, catch you a little later.